Hello and welcome to another episode of Liam's Hobby Room. My name is Liam, this is my hobby room. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 1 to 144 scale Gundam Death Scythe from Gundam Wing. If you grew up in the 90s and early 2000s like I did, you probably remember seeing this thing on YTV. I remember the first time I saw this show, I'd never seen anything like it. Picture little 10 year old Liam sitting on the floor watching YTV and the Gundam Death Scythe walks on screen for the very first time and I'm like, wow. That's pretty cool. And obviously 31 year old me thinks it was pretty cool because I just built a little model kit version of it and I'm gonna show it to you. And if you like it, you can pick one up at bchobbies.com down in the description below, which spoiler alert, I highly recommend. It's a very nice kit. Or if you're like me, the nostalgia of this mobile suit design will remind you of a simpler time when you were little and life hadn't quite gotten difficult yet and you hadn't quite realized just how wonderful it was being a kid and having that sense of security and knowing that soon you're gonna grow up, you're gonna have to pay bills, go to work, pay taxes, pay for car insurance, pay for your own groceries, pay for toilet paper, and uh, clean the house. Did I already say pay bills? <laughs> So this is a very nice high grade. It's comparable with the rest of the Gundam Wing high grades that have been coming out lately. They look great. I'm so happy we're getting these. Uh, they, they're fantastic kits and I can't wait to see more Gundam Wing stuff from, from Bandai. Uh, so hopefully that's, that's coming down the pipe. If you like Gundam Wing, if you like the look of this kit, or if you've just been curious about getting into Gunpla, uh, this is an awesome, awesome kit to start with. Uh, especially if you grew up in the 90s and early 2000s like I did. Arguably, some may say I haven't grown up at all, seeing as I'm making a YouTube channel about little plastic robots, but uh, <laughs> uh, let's move on. This is a great kit to start with if you're looking to get into Gunpla. It's a fantastic nostalgic design. This is fun to put together, not a lot of um, crazy complexity, which is what I like because I just want to get to painting and building for me is, is kind of a chore. Uh, but <laughs> this is a great kit and I think you might like it. Now the Gundam Death Scythe was sent down to Earth with the young Duo Maxwell as its pilot. Duo Maxwell was like the wisecracking good time guy of the, of the Gundam team. Well, thank you, Duo. You were kind enough to leave me plenty of good treats. If you're joking, that's cruel. But if you're being sarcastic, that's even worse. And I think... The majority of the Gundam pilots thought he was insufferable, but Scott McNeil was his voice actor in English, and he was incredible. He was so good, Duo was so much fun. I remember seeing him be like, I wanna be like that guy when I'm older. Just not as annoying. You can let me know in the comments if I've succeeded or not in that. But anyways, let's get on to the review. So here's the instruction manual for the Gundam Death Scythe. Very nice. Uh, there's a bunch of words on it and some pictures inside it. And there's a color guide on the back. So if you're painting and you want to adhere to that, you can do that. It's all right there for you. They wrote it down. Isn't that nice? It also comes with a very basic sticker sheet, which is just how I like them. Uh, so it comes with the cameras here and a very small V for the crotch piece, which I won't be using because it's very easy to paint. Uh, so here's the scythe. It's very nice, goes together very simply, and there is one point of articulation on the very top here, uh, which flips up like that. That's the beam emitter. Um, and this scythe is supposed to telescope. It's supposed to telescope in the show, so this can you can swap it out for this piece here, which is hollow on the back of it. So to attach this closed down scythe, you can just slide this through the hole in the uh, back skirt here, and boom, it's very snug. So you might want to sand that down a wee bit, especially if you're going to be painting this thing because it is going to strip all that paint off pretty quickly. So come on, get out of there. Come on, come on, come on, you little, there we go. And when you want to put the beam scythe in its hand, it does come with two different beam effect parts. One is just a tad smaller than the other. Uh, they both look great. So let's just pop this in here. And so there it is like that. Then you can put the bigger one in, which is, you know, it's a little more, a little more exciting. It's very large and this can move up like this. So you can have it uh, kind of like, an, like a glaive. I guess that's a glaive. That's what that's called. Like what the Shenlong has. And here we have the Buster Shield, which has a little yellow star on here, which is a nice little throwback to the original Gundam design. And these scissory parts that you can open up here and the other one will move due to some plastic gears on the inside. There's a really nice looking beam effect part this comes with, so you can pop that in there to recreate its uh, launching effect. And then just attach that to the arm via this peg. It only does clip onto the one arm though. They're, they're, uh, they didn't give you a little hole on this, but for whatever reason, if you wanted to put it on there, just drill a little hole. Drill a little three millimeter hole and it'll fit in there. 
And we have some leftover hands. Now on the kit itself, I have the generic holding hands and these are the wing style ones. So we have four extras, we have two open palms, and then we have two thumb extended bent wrist holding hands, which were uh, actually, I think these came out with the sand rock. They've included them here and they do definitely work still. Like you can pop this bad boy in there and then, uh, you know, hold it like this. So they're, they're, there's, you know, there's use. You can get use out of those. So that's it for the accessories. Not much, but they look great and that's all it needs. So the head will go all the way around, but it is hampered by the armor. Looks down about that far and up about that far. Torso moves all the way around. The hyper jammers on the backpack move backwards and forwards for whatever reason. The thruster in the backpack wiggles a little bit. Arms go all the way out. Bicep swivel, full 90 degree bend. Wrists are on a ball joint. And the arms go all the way around. And it does crunches better than I can. Front skirts move like this and are molded together, but you can separate them if you like. Side skirts can wiggle a bit. Back skirt wiggles a bit. The hips can rock forward and backward. Leg goes up about that far and bends like so. Ankle armor's on a ball joint. Ankle itself is on a ball joint. And the feet can close up like this. So here's the Gundam Death Scythe and the Wing Gundam put together uh, for a little comparison. Obviously the Wing Gundam is painted as my Death Scythe will soon be as well and they'll look wonderful together. So um, yeah, I can't wait to get to work on that and I will post that as a painted build down the line. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Liam and this is my hobby room and I hope you enjoyed the review of the 1 to 144 scale high grade after colony Death Scythe. <gasps> Uh, it is a fantastic kit. I know I said that a couple times, but that's because I extra super duper mean it And I think you should go get one and build one because it was a really fun kit And if you have some of the other Gundam wing kits You can put them all together on your shelf and it'll be really satisfying to look at I'm gonna upload a painted build of this kit and show off all the other Gundam wing kits that I've done uh, Because I have a few of them and I've just been slowly accumulating them over time until they were at a stage where I wanted to show them off. But anyways, that's that's something I'll show you on this channel in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, it would really, really mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm very, very happy that you're here to share in this fandom with me. So thank you for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys next time on Liam's Hobby Room. To find love.